that you agreed to sleep over tonight. I think we're just gonna have so much fun. I have this feeling that you and me were like destined to be best friends. No, I just, oh, I feel it in my heart. I mean, I'm not psychic, but I feel like if I was, the universe would be telling me that you and me were gonna be like BFFs forever, BFFLs. Anyways, though, how are you? How are you? You look gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. You're welcome. Oh, well, I hope you're good. We're gonna have such a fun time tonight. I have so many fun goodies for you. First and foremost, do you like my PJs? Really fun and Christmas festive. Yeah, you like them? Okay, good, because I actually got you a matching pair, so I thought we could twin and wear them together. What do you think? Oh, trust me, it'll be so cute. And then we could take like little Instagram photos and we can tag each other and then we can post it on our stories. I think it'll be so much fun. Ugh, we're just gonna be such close BFFs. Oh my goodness. I hope these fit you. I kind of secretly me measured you in class one day, so I think these will fit perfectly. Hmm? No, nothing, nothing. Um, yeah, so I think that these will be perfect and they're so soft. Feel how soft they are. Oh my goodness, they're probably almost as soft as your hair. Just so shiny and, oh, it's just, what do you use for your hair? You have to tell me. Okay, fine, keep a secret. I get it, I get it. I'll figure it out one day. Oh, okay, so I thought you could slip into these after you have a nice bath, okay? So, I actually, I know that you've been so stressed out with, you know, the projects at school lately, especially in history, they're really putting us through with all these dioramas, yeah. No, I know, I mean, if you ever need any help, I'll gladly do any of your projects for you because I just have so much free time on my hands, you know, when I'm not, like, studying your life or whatever, but I can totally help you out, but I know you've been just so stressed, I can see it on your face, and when I you know, eavesdrop when you talk to your other friends. I can hear that you're really struggling with everything, so I thought I could run you a really nice bath. I ended up getting you a little present, you know, a little besties present, Christmas buds, you know, with the holidays just around the corner. I thought I could be your secret Santa. And so, this is from Lush. In here, you get a Butter Bear bath bomb, a Groovy Fairy bath bomb, and a Penguin bath bomb. How cute is that? So I thought you could use one of your bath bomb, most relaxing candlelit bath. And then after you come out of there, you can slip into your soft PJs and we can just hang out and do some pampering. What do you think? Don't really feel like a bath. Are you sure? Because I think it'll just be so cozy and relaxing. If you want, I can hang out in there with you. Like, I can, we can just like scroll on TikTok or whatever or something. Or like watch a Netflix show. I know you really like Selling Sunset and also The Vampire Diaries. I'm pretty sure you told me one day. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, well, you can think about it if you want. You can, you know what? It's a silly idea anyway. Um, if you want, we can just kind of hang out and I can still pamper you a little bit. Oh, I almost forgot. I know that you're vegan because I see your lunches in the cafeteria. And I know you always ask for no cheese on, um, you know, when they do that one lunch special and you're always like, no cheese because I'm vegan. Yeah, sometimes I listen. Um, but I know that you're vegan and I also know you love chocolate. You have one of those cute, like, little chocolate bars every day. So I ended up getting you some vegan chocolate, okay? And I wasn't sure which kind you'd like or if we'd have enough of it because I wanted to make sure I had enough for you, okay? Because we're besties and girly pop. I want to make sure that you are pampered and feeling super welcome. Super welcome, okay? So I got you a bunch here. Look, look, I got you ton because like I said I wasn't sure if you know which kind you'd like or also you know if, if we'd have enough because I don't know how much chocolate you like to eat and I don't judge at all so I wanted to make sure there was a lot do you have a preference crap I don't have that kind but if you want I'll run to the grocery store right now or um I can Uber Eats it from the supermarket if you want me to do that 
are you sure? Because I feel so bad. Like, this is, I'm hosting the sleepover. I should have gotten all your favorite things. And I thought that these would be good. But if they're not, I'll totally get you something else. Okay, well, you just let me know, okay? Because I want it to be perfect. Because you're my best friend. Okay, well, if you do have, I'll just show you these anyways, okay? I got, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight chocolate bars. That should be enough for tonight, right? I don't know. Um, different kinds. Okay, so I got this one. This is the Cadbury Plant Bar. It's salted caramel. Have you tried it? It's new, so I thought maybe you wouldn't have tried it and it would be like, you know, the best thing ever. No? Okay, so maybe you'll like this one then. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I had one of the chocolate bars on the way home yesterday from the store and it, it was really good. I wanted to test it to make sure that it was actually edible and it was. It was really yummy. So, this one is really delicious. I would highly recommend it. Okay, so I got you that one. And then I got you this one. This is another Cadbury plant one, but it's just the regular, like, milk chocolate, okay? You prefer dark? Oh my goodness, thank gosh, because I actually have dark chocolate here. This is 90% cocoa. Oh, this one's vegan. See, ingredients, um, cocoa mask, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, and sugar. That's it. So there's no milk. There's no milk in it, okay? Trust me, I quadruple checked because I would never want to mess that up, okay? That'd be the last thing that I'm trying to do. I think it'll be really yummy. I mean, I don't even like dark chocolate, and I had one, and it's really good. Okay, so we have two of these. Is that enough, do you think, or should I order more? By the way, are you hungry? I could totally order us, like, I don't know, what's your favorite food? I mean, I know you love pasta because you're usually eating that at lunch. I also know you love peanut butter and jam, um, so I do have that. I, I got strawberry jam, if that's fine. Not right now, you're not too hungry right now. Okay, just let me know. Um, what else do I have for you? Oh, I actually do have other chocolate things. Um, I got some maple hot chocolate because I overheard you saying you hate coffee. I mean, like, blah, who even likes coffee anyways? I mean, like, I'm Team Rory Gilmore, how she actually just drank Coke on the set of Gilmore Girls instead of actually black coffee because coffee's gross, ew. So this is vegan fair trade hot chocolate. I think it's so cool that you're vegan, so I wanted to get you a bunch of stuff to make you feel comfortable, okay? So I got that. I know you like peanut butter and jam, but I didn't know if you'd ever, like, tried something like this. It's vegan sesame chocolate spread. I had to go to three different grocery stores to find this. Um, but it's basically, like, vegan Nutella. Vegan Nutella. You found it before? What do you think? Do you like it? Not like it? You can be honest. Trust me. I mean, like, I, like I said, I don't judge and I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah, me neither. Okay, well, let's just move on from that then. Um. Actually, do you have another present for you? Because it is the holidays and my love language is gift giving and I mean, I love you so much, you're my bestie, so... Well, I know it's only like our first time hanging out, but uh, we have so many classes together and although you don't really notice me that much, I feel like we just, like I said, are meant to be besties, so... Um, you'll see soon, trust me. But I know that one time you came into class and you smelled so delicious, like so good. And I was literally like, oh my god, I need that scent. So I asked everyone around and they were like, how am I going to know what perfume she wears? That's kind of weird. So anyways, I took a sample of your skin one time and no, trust me, it's not creepy at all. And I went um, to the mall and I went to all the different perfume stores and finally I went to Bath and Body Works and they were like, oh my goodness, that's Twisted Peppermint. So I know you are Twisted Peppermint, am I right? No, trust me, it's not creepy at all. A ton of people do this, so... Um, I got you the whole Twisted Peppermint collection. Okay, so Merry Christmas. I am your Santa Claus. Here, let me show you everything. First up, I got you the Twisted Peppermint candle. It has this cute starry lid. It actually didn't have this lid originally. I stole it from another candle, but I would literally fight off any worker that 
try to tell me otherwise because I, it's for you and it has to be perfect. I mean, I would literally give my life for you, okay? Not to be dramatic or anything, but you know, girls supporting girls. This one smells so good. I literally, like I opened the candle and I was like, oh my goodness, that's what my bestie smells like. And I knew I needed the whole collection. So I bought the whole collection for myself because I wanted to smell like you. <laughs> and then I also got the whole collection for you, obviously. Oh my goodness, right? So yummy. So I thought we could light this. If you want to have a nice bath, you could light it and enjoy it. Nice bath by the candlelight. Okay, so I got you that candle. Oh, right now, this one that's burning, it's like a ginger cinnamon. Do you not like it? Do you want me to blow it out? You like it? Oh, thanks. I actually just got it from Winners because the Bath and Body Works candles are literally so expensive and I didn't have the type of money to spend on myself, but I spent it on you. So I just got like that cheap one from Winners, but it actually smells really nice. Hey, yeah, it's like really warm and inviting. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to carry around a little candle with me like a friend. Anyways, um, okay. I also got you the Twisted Peppermint Body Wash with Pro Vitamin B5 and Aloe. I guess you can also, um, use this in the bath if you want it. I mean, I know you're unsure about the whole bath thing, but trust me, I think it could be nice. So, got you that one. And the packaging sounds so nice. I know you like ASMR. I saw you watching it one time because I was looking over your shoulder. And now I love ASMR. You know, you love ASMR, so now I love ASMR. It's kind of like when you were wearing those one pair of, like, platform clogs. And I don't even like platform clogs, but I bought three different pairs. Then, to go along with all of that, bear with me, it's a big collection, I spent all my savings on this, um, I got the Twisted Peppermint Fine Fragrance Mist, like this is what you smell like, oh my goodness, oh yeah, that is just so good, you smell like a delicious Twisted Peppermint Lollipop of Sunshine Goodness. So I got you that, so that you can add it to your collection. And then I got you the Twisted Peppermint Daily Nourishing Body Lotion. Not to mention the packaging is so cute. What color is your room? Okay, well I think it'll match. I mean, my room, as you can see, it's like kind of florally. And I wrote some po um, poems, and I have some poems that I think you'd like if you want to read them. I mean, I write a few poems about people I love and so I've written a few poems about you, but I mean, um, we don't have to get into that right now. It's so boring. Unless you want to. No? Okay, just let me know. Um, and then I got you the Twisted Peppermint Ultimate Hydration Body Cream with Shea Butter. I wasn't really sure what the difference was between this and the body lotion. It kind of seemed like a money grab, but I mean, I got them both for you because if anyone's worth it, it's you. And I'm just hoping that, you know, Maybe you want to hang out at lunch sometime or like in public together and just like hang out and be besties. But I know it might take you a while to warm up to me because I think you might be a bit shy and I'm, I'm, I'm also a bit shy. I'm not really too outspoken, but yeah, you know, regardless, at least you'll be nice and soft. And then I got you, um, oh, I got you the Twisted Peppermint Gentle and Clean Foaming Hand Soap. I saw that they had this and I thought that this was so cute. Do you have a washroom in your room? Like one of those attached washrooms? Oh yeah, me neither. I really wish I had one. But I thought that you could just have this one. And, oh, it smells so good. The whole Twisted Peppermint collection it smells absolutely delicious and it makes me think of you. So I'm so happy I bought myself the collection too. I mean, I couldn't, I, I couldn't afford like every bit of it, but I just got myself, um, one of the lotions, like the mini lotions, so that I could at least kind of smell like you, but yeah, I couldn't afford the rest of the stuff. It was too expensive, and I wanted to make sure I got it for you, but anyways, um, and then I got you one of these, the mini little, uh, hand gels, okay? The antibacterial hand gels. This is so cute and adorable. It's perfect to fit in. You know that one little purse you have that's like a shoulder bag? You were to class about, I want to say two months and nine days ago? Yeah, I remember the day perfectly, but um, I thought it would fit in that cute little bag you have. Okay. So, anyways. If 
if you want, I thought we could just like chit chat and talk about like our favorite things and like, I mean, I don't know, what was it like growing up for you? I mean, like, are you close with your family? Like, no, I mean, I'm really artistic and I just love writing stories and actually for my English class, I have to write um, a piece on someone I'm really inspired by, so I thought I could do it about you if you, if that's okay. I mean, I, I don't really need permission. I'd kind of write it anyways. I mean, I know a lot about you, but I'm just taking notes and I think it'll also help me be closer to you as a best friend. So, um, anyways, are you close with your family? seems like you're a little bit like nervous to share with me but trust me like it, it'll be a really good like piece that I write I would never say anything bad about you obviously and if you want I can just kind of like spiff up the truth like if you say oh like one time I went for a really nice walk and I completed this really big hike I can say like one time you were hiking and you saw a kid hanging off the ledge and you, you picked them up and saved their life and you won like a Nobel Peace Prize. Do you know what I mean? So I would really just do anything for you. So I would do, I mean like, don't be nervous to share is my point. Okay. Well, what's your, I'll pretend like I don't know these things, but I mean, um, what's your favorite food? Pasta, what, who knew? Um, okay, where's your dream place to visit? Bali? Oh my goodness, we should totally do a girly trip to Bali, a best friend trip to Bali, wouldn't that be so fun? We can take cute pictures of each other, and then we could get one of those, like, have you ever seen when people go to Bali and they do, like, the baths or pools filled with flower petals, and then they have, like, floating fruit and everything? We should totally do that. Okay, we'll think on it, plus I'd have to save for the trip anyway, so I mean, no pressure. Okay, what's your dream job? No way. Oh my goodness, that's my dream job. Wouldn't it be so crazy if, like, we got an internship at the same place and then, like, got to work together and then, like, we're colleagues with the rest of our lives and then we got to see each other every day at work? Wouldn't that be so cool? Oh, I think it would be so fun. And trust me, like I said, you'll warm up to me. Okay, so... That's really cool. Oh my goodness. What do you like to do in your free time? No way, I didn't know you were on the volleyball team. What? That's so funny. So I know you guys won your match last week. How did that feel? Just like, you know, being team captain and like leading the team to victory. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, it must be really rewarding. Your parents must be so proud of you. Do you have any siblings? I can't imagine what it would be like to be siblings with you. It'd be so cool. Are you close with your siblings? Is your family looking to adopt any kids? Not too bad. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe if one of your siblings, like, goes missing or something and then they need a replacement. Bad joke. Okay, what else do you like to do on your free time? Do you like to draw? What? No way. One time I saw you drawing a picture in class and I was like, oh my goodness, she's literally the next, like, Picasso or Mona. Like, oh, you're just so good. Yeah, have you been drawing since you were little? Oh, wow. Are you, like, super artistic? Or can you sing and stuff, too? Oh, my goodness. What if I wrote you a song and then you sang it and we could perform it at the school talent show? Wouldn't that be so cool? I'm a bit shy when it comes to singing. Okay, fair enough. Well, I think that should be enough to add on. I mean, I currently have a lot of info that I've been working on for this project. I mean, Kind of seems like a lot, but I mean, in here I know all of your class schedule, and then here I know all of your favorite makeup products, and then here I know your style and all the clothes you shop, like all the stores you shop at. Here I know every single person you've ever had a crush on, and here I know your entire friends list and the big fights that you had last year. So, I mean, I don't think I have a ton. But I think I just have like a normal amount for a normal person. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing with me. I really appreciate that. Alright, how are you feeling? Do you still not want a bath or anything? No? Okay, what if I just like pamper you a little bit? Your hair looks so soft. Can I brush it? Please? Oh, look. I know you're like also vegan and super eco-friendly, so I bought this wooden brush. Isn't it 
just brush your hair and then I can see what I can do with the hair samples that I get from it. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, yeah, let me just brush your hair out. Oh my goodness, wow, it's so soft. Do you like when people play with your hair? Are you sure? It's usually really relaxing.
need like some meals some nights or something like you just let me know okay okay well i think you should just keep an open mind to it because it's it's totally okay to ask for help i mean like i know sometimes i like i'm pretty shy and like i'm not very like outspoken so sometimes i have struggled Oh my goodness, your skin is literally glowing. I could only dream to have your skin. Sometimes I wish I could do like a face transplant or something, but then I mean, you would need a face too, and it's not like you'd want to switch faces with me. Could you imagine? That'd be so silly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So crazy. By the way, do you like my hair? I saw you wearing this hairstyle yesterday, and I thought it was just so cute. I mean, obviously, it looks a lot better on you than it does with me, because like the slick back doesn't really suit my forehead, but. You know, it was really adorable. Well, I mean, I obviously know you look better in it, but I thought we could still kind of look like twins, maybe. Yeah, you feel like having a bath? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, why don't I? I'm just gonna add a bit more hot water and like some bubbles and stuff. Okay, it'll be so much fun. And you want you want one of the the bath bombs? Yeah, I mean, we don't have to like hang out like. Obviously, like if you just want to like have a bath by yourself for a while or you just need some space. Okay Totally get it. Well, why don't I just like set it all up for you and I'll leave a chocolate bar in there And then I'll just be like waiting when you get back and I'll have like a show ready or something a movie ready 